guys good to have you all back and in case you're new to my channel my name is margaret and i am from the netherlands i am a paper crafting junk journaler and in the weekends i'm a vintage treasure hunter welcome to my channel guys i have a prototype on my desk um i am going to tell you what the inspiration was for this prototype um and what we are going to use to make it and how we are going to make it so let me show you Totally inspired by Mr. Tim Holt's new ideology release, where he presented these collaged frames or something. Um, love them, yes. Bought them, hopefully they'll come in soon. But isn't it a fantastic project to try out for ourselves? So I did sort of a prototype thingy. I even did some sewing, some stitching. It's very messy stitching. Um, but I think it's going to be a fun project so uh, inspired by mr tim holtz and um let's do our own version what do we need um the base for this is actually the backings of paper pads or scrapbook paper um i have a bunch of them and i keep them because i like the very heavy sort of cardstock paper uh it's not thick enough so what i did i glued two of them together so uh heavy cardstock some chipboard whatever you want to call it just some as long as it's really really sturdy uh for the other papers um well use use your scraps lobbies and do it in any style that you like i want these to be sort of uh botanical or with animal animals like flora and fauna um, because I have this small little book that I use all the time. And they have these tiny sort of images in them. That would work perfectly for this size. So, um, And then some other scraps with text. Some neutrals. This one is very, very lovely with the butterflies. And maybe this. and You know, use up your scraps. Maybe you want to do it in another style. Um, also going to use some washi tapes. I have different ones on my desk. Um, these are actually from a 49 and Market from their set. What's the set called? The set's called Lovely. That's what it is. Uh, Tranquility. It's Tranquility washi tapes. So, yes, some of these. And I don't even know. Some that I had for a long, long time. Um, for other decorating, I'm using the tiny, tiny bits and bobs. I have this sort of... A little box that used to be for a post stamp. It's a vintage one. Didn't make it myself. No, it's lovely. Tiny labels, just tiny bits and bobs. Yes, I put some um, on here and here. It, they just look lovely. That's it for paper. Now for the tools. Um, glue. I am using a knife. A craft knife or whatever knife. Maybe a Stanley knife. Whatever you have. Um, a metal ruler. I have this, uh, let's call this a T-ruler. I think it's called a T-ruler. This is very handy uh, for doing measuring and, and such. Um, if you don't have a T-ruler, you need to do a little bit more measuring. Um, and uh, a marker, scissors. Are you going to do inking? Maybe some inking, don't know. I also don't know if I'm going to do the sewing. But you know, you can sew on it. Mr. Tim Holtz uh, frames had some sewing uh, on it. I might do some inking. I don't really know. So um, the most important thing is sort of chipboard or um, heavier, heavy, heavy cardstock or backings from um, paper pads. Yes. Scraps, a knife and fun. Let's start making the bases. Now for the sizes, for the measuring, mine, this is a four by five. But you can do any size you like. I wouldn't have it very, very small. Uh, and also not very, very big. Because it needs to fit on a project in a journal. Or maybe you want to have, to have it as a real picture frame. Then have it as big as you want. I love these. Um, this is a 4x5. The inside, however, is a little bit smaller. I've decided on this project, on this one, to have the frame uh, 3 quarters of an inch. Um, all of them. So three quarters of an inch on the top, on the bottom, and on the sides. It could be, I could do a bigger frame. I think it will still look good if I were to use like an one, a one inch frame. However, if you're going to make them very small, have the frame sort of according to the size that you're using. I think that uh, will look much nicer. So I'm going to make a couple of them four by five because I think this is a nice size to work with. Um... But I'm also going to have some that have a little bit of a bigger frame. Yeah? 
so let's cut out some pieces uh, from this um, cardboard um, use whatever you want if you have a knife if you have a paper trimmer I don't think my paper trimmer will like this um, sturdy paper so I'm going to use um, a knife for this yes cut out some rectangles or squares yeah I'm going to use my uh, tea ruler to do some measuring. Uh, why? Because this butts up against, against to the side. This is like a really um, a straight edge. Um, and you just have to make one mark then. If not, you have to do, uh, you have to mark on the top and on the bottom to have a straight line. Does it make any sense? I hope it does. I hope it does. So I'm just going to mark it. I'm going to have um, a mark at 5 and a mark at 10. Yes, I'm not going to draw a line. I'm just going to put my ruler on the top. This is a very handy tool to have. Putting it up against the mark. It is absolutely straight. Hold it very, very tightly. Yes. And then I'm just going to cut. Probably have to do it two times because very heavy chipboard, cardstock, whatever you want to call it. Almost there. Yes. Here's one. Now for the other one, lining it up again. I'm sorry guys, I'm concentrating. I do not want to cut in my fingers. <laughs> yep, okay. And then we want um, four. This is five, so this is going to be four. So I'm going to mark two times, one at four. There you go. And one at eight. Yes, I'm going to do all of them and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do to make the frame on the inside using the same tool and a knife. Now for the frame on the inside, I've decided to do these with a one inch frame. Yes, which means I'm going to mark on the top one inch here and also on the other side one inch there and turn it about. One inch here and one inch there. Now, because I'm using this, I'm just going to line it up. If you're not using this, then flip it about again. Do one, one and do one, one and then line uh, line the dots up. That's why I love this tool. You only have to put down one line. I am taking a pencil out for this, guys. Yeah. Lining it up so that it is really, really straight. Here's one. Another one. And the last one. There you go. So we have like a big square in the middle, four squares on the corners. What we need to do is cut out the big square in the middle. Yeah, is this crooked? No, it's just that's just you. That's just you, Buffy. Um, I'm going to take out my ruler, the metal one. I do prefer the metal one for cutting. And I'm going to cut from here to here. Well, you know, it's self-explanatory. Do it two or three times, guys, because you really need to, yes, go through all the layers. Also, it doesn't really matter if you cut a little bit too far. Not too far, of course, because we're going to cover it anyway with lovely papers.
Yep, last one. Ta-da! Our frame. I think I like the one inch one, don't you? Yes. I'm gonna keep this because we can use this to make lovely art tiles in a later project. Great. Uh, do all of them <laughs> or just one. Let's just start with one. Now let's start collaging. I took out a couple of these uh, pages with these tiny images. I just, I just love them. What else are you going to do with them other than put them in some, on something like this? And then these, these are very old book pages. And I just have, love to have some with the handwriting and, you know. So we're just going to alternate. I'm going to start with this one. They can be a little bit bigger, guys. No problem. Um, because we're going to trim them once they are on. Let's just start in the corner here. Yes, it's sticking out here and here. And no worries at all. No worries, because we're going to trim them. You can also line them up like so. No, I'm going to line them up like so. Yes. Blue page. I'm going to put glue on here. Let's put that under the thingy then. Okay. <laughs> great and you can also do this with you know a really old beautiful neutral colored book pages or with bright colors with flowers with pattern paper what have you i am going to sort of alternate um with the images of course just put put on some lovely florals This one, yes, just like this, just like this. Just rip it off, put it on, see where it lands. Now, there will be sort of uh, some lines that are meeting up. And these are the, sort of the perfect spots to have a piece of washi tape on or what have you. Or label. Just some more decorating. I was thinking about making them a li li little bit longer and then folding them over. That would be lovely. Yes, um, I tried it, but it's a lot of work. Because you have to take into consideration the corners here and the corners there. And it's a thing. Believe me, it's a whole thing. So I decided not to. Let's see. I want a piece of this. Taking off this white edge. Yeah. It's going to be lovely. Yep, there you go. This pretty blue one, or this one. Let's do this one. Where's my ruler? Well, here. <laughs> I was thinking this might even look cute. Now, the question is, are we going to do it like so, or are we going to do it like so? No, I'm going to have it like so yes 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 i want to have a butterfly let's see if we can sort of Oh, I'll get to this one. Pretty one over here. That's called Little Fox. Oh, that's two of the same colors next to each other. Let's do something in between. A smaller strip. Uh, also, guys, don't mind what the sizes of the strip is that you're putting on. Just, you do you. If you want to have a big strip, small strip, whatever. Oops. This will be lovely for a spring journal. I know I need to start um, putting signatures in Victoria, my spring journal. 
but he, let me tell you the reason why I have not uh, done that yet because I am a waiting for Michelle at the junk journal studio for her spring um, journal kit because I just know it's going to be awesome and also I'm trying to make some for myself and I'd rather wait for that to happen than putting on in papers that I'm not really happy with so Victoria will have to wait on because that's almost the right size yes another butterfly here yeah that looks okay oops that doesn't work love It will look a lot different once everything is on and cut to size. I think it will. I'm going to have on um, smaller piece. One of those? No. A larger one and then uh, some washi tape, right? Yeah, sure, sure, love, sure. I might have some of this blue on. Yeah, that looks cool. Or just do it like so. Or just do it like so. butterfly now is that nice no <laughs> gonna scooch it in a little bit i want to see a little bit more of the butterfly there you go great i'm gonna let it dry for a little bit then we're gonna flip it over and do um all the cutting with the knife it is dry i flipped it over taking out my knife again and then i am just cutting off the pieces carefully uh, that are sticking out on the outside. Now, if these are wet, they will probably sort of, when you try to cut them off, crumple up. Hopefully this works. Yes, so please be sure that it's dry. Believe me, that'll work much better. Now for the inside, a little bit trickier. Slow and steady. Did it work? actually better to have them stick out a lot than just the tiniest bit <laughs> want to see the review there we go looks completely different already i'm you could be done you could be done basically uh but what i want to do is um add a little bit uh, of washi tapes here and there maybe a la label or what have you i might do some inking i also have the idea to maybe do some sewing i don't know uh, let's start with the washi tapes first. The washi tapes. Love this one. It has flowers on it. And then 
postage stamps and some botanicals. It's just really nice and grungy. Just taking a piece off. There you go. And I'm going to randomly put some pieces on. Mostly on the parts that are black and white. No rhyme or reason. I want a little bit more color here. Let's do one of these butterflies. Just over here like so. Do you want some of this? Or this? Completely random stuff. <laughs> Can we rip it? I just don't want this to be straight. Bit of blue. These are too small. Um, some labels. Do we need more washi? I also have these labels and these. I think I want to have a little bit of washi here. But what? This. Yes, looks lovely in here. Once you start with the washies, <laughs> there's no stopping. Okay, let's see, where can we use a label? Here? And here, have this one go off the page? Yeah? Here? Also have these. Really pretty ones. No. One was here. We're going to do this one here. We're going to do this one there. There? Yes. Yes. My pin. Shall I do the stitching? The problem is I might completely mess it up with stitching. I might do a horrible job. I'm just going to fold this in, guys. There you go, like so. I do have the feeling it needs a little bit more. How about this one? Yeah? Oopsie. It is actually just collaging. Teeny tiny one. Oh yes, yes. At the moment I love everything teeny tiny, apparently. Yep. We done? I think we're done. I think we're done. Yes. Um, inking? No, I'm not inking. I am going to run it through my show sewing machine. Yes, some, some stitching somewhere. And then I have another idea because I actually want to put the, the multimedia mat over it. Because I think it will leave a much nicer finish. But first, sewing machine. I did the stitching, not mad about it. I'm not happy about it either. <laughs> but you know, I need the practice. I need to practice. So um, I'm going to go all over it with this multi mat medium, whatever. Uh, you can also use Mod Podge or I have this other one. Um, collage, distress collage medium. What's uh, distress about it? I don't know. Oh, distress it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go over it. put on a nice layer because I just want a, a nicer finish on them 
and I also think it will keep all the pieces from curling up at one point if they weren't glued on well enough. At least that's my idea. It says matte, but actually I think it leaves a little bit of a gloss, like a sheen on it. But again, it could just be me. Now I'm not going to put a lot on. Just to cover it. Great. Like so. I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to show you, uh, because I also did this with the prototype. And I also inked the prototype. I'm going to let this dry, guys. See? Yes, I think it's 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 much nicer. It does have sort of a... At least it has sort of a feel to it. It's more plasticky, if that makes any sense. And I did some inking all around it. And actually, I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, I have two sort of botanical ones now. But really, I want to make one with very old, antique, vintage paper, a more sort of neutral kind of frame. Yes? Let's try it. I got my frame, and I got some papers from antique uh, magazines and vintage books and such. Just all very nice, dark, brownish, grungy, whatever. Um, I'm just going to start gluing stuff on. So this one is going to be completely different. So now I made two. And uh, my conclusion is put a piece of paper on, have it stick out on all sides. Much, I think that works much better uh, with cutting it down. Just my opinion. I'm going to do this in this corner. I'm going to concentrate on the corners first. I'm going to put this one down here are we going to manage this probably will this is too long though i not want it this long what is sticking here i do want this word to be on here yep there you go. What else do we have? I have this with the letters. But I want something in between. Ooh, something with numbers. Yes, something with numbers. I'm going to do it like so. I think so. I'm going to have it on like so. Just sort of across. Yeah. What was I putting on? Oh yeah. Do you want to do a K? Let's let's do a K. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's do okay. Yep. What do we have here? I love this sort of A. Let's do something in between first. This is, uh, let's do the German Gothic book font. Where's my book? Just a small strippy. Yep. It is like making a masterboard, sort of. What was I going to put on? Is this big enough? It is. It will be. To cut this off. Yep. Yes.
just gonna put a strippy on remember we're also gonna do some um, oh let's do some of this yes some washi tapes and such mm, oh let's do this one Lovely. I want another one of those. Let's do this gentleman over here. want him to cover up my lovely K. Okay? Okay. Yes, we need a strippy here. I also had this. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Just fits. Now something over here. Um, oh, we can do maybe not another K, an H. Let's do an H. I don't think it will be on there completely, but we'll try. We'll try. everything on yes gonna let it dry then we're gonna do the cutting i think it's dry enough but this is very very old paper so i need to be really really careful because this rips very easily started to curl over here so careful of don't let it curl up make another spot and also do not cut in your fingers quiet today that's because i'm using a knife lovies <laughs> i just want to be very very careful i need these sort of fingers and hands to do more projects so that's why i'm sort of concentrating it drifted a little bit here that's okay that's why we have washi tape Yep. Now for the inside, that's a little bit, little bit more difficult, but let's just try it. Oops, careful, it's growing up here. We do not want this. We 
might have a small problem here. Let's turn it over. Yes, thought so. Sort of ripping off here and here, but but it looks amazing, doesn't it? Ooh, look at the K and H. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, let's get out some uh, washi tapes in these sort of colors. Do it once some Timmy Holtz. Let's do some Timmy Holtz. This is um, da -da -da. collector. Collector. Okay. Wow. Oops. There you go. This is not Tim Holtz. <laughs> no, far from it. Never tried this one before, but. Just ripping a piece. Adding it over here. This blank bit is not what I want. Just gonna flip it over. Here and here. And then we have this piece over here. Yes, goodbye. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother myself with it, no. Strippy on the top. Strippy over here. Then we have this one. That's upside down. Now, do we need some labels? Of course we do. Of course we need some labels. Some nice brown ones, brownish labels. Well, I have lots of those. Do I also have some stickers? Well, there's some red on here, so... Yes, I'm also going to add a little bit of the red. There you go. These are too big. Just one, just one. And then... These labels. So quiet today, I know guys. <laughs> Maybe a blank one and then have half of it on. Yeah. We need something there. I fear this one is too much, at least in that color. Let's do. Oh, let's do a number. Oh, yes. The solution, the solution. Taking out art, guys, because these are so small. Art, you want to come out and play today? Oh, he's a little bit upset. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Collage, medium, whatever. <laughs> he's jealous. See, he's so jealous, he doesn't even want to come out and play. Everyone's complaining that art glitter glue is so expensive. It is. It is expensive. But honestly, guys, it does last you a long, long time. It really does. I use it nearly every day. Nearly every day. And I bought one of these and one of the refill ones not even the big ones this one with the eight ounces and this is half full still and this is half full so yeah i think if it's empty um i would have had it for 18 months at least so not that expensive at all 
Do you know how fast I go through these ones? Very fast. <laughs> Extremely fast. Was it here? Did we do it here? There? I can't even remember, guys. Help me out. Well, I'm gonna put it here. Just gonna put it there. And this one over here. You know what would have been great if I had uh, red threads for stitching? I don't think I have any. Is it cool? I think it is. Do we need one, two, three? Is this enough red elements? Yes, it is. It is, love. It is. Fantastic. Um, I'm going to do some sewing. Yes. Fingers crossed, crossed that it will look nice. Yes, it will. Well, I did the sewing. I cannot even blame the sewing machine, guys. It's such heavy sort of cardstock, whatever. Uh, it, I had so much trouble at one point. I had to put a label over it. But it looks amazing. I already sort of did the um, matte medium on it. And then all the inking. Just love it. Absolutely love it. Yes, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to make one more off camera because I want an even sort of number because I have two of these now, one of these. That's just, it doesn't compute. No. So I'll be right back with the end result. Here they are, all in a row. This is my prototype. I absolutely love my prototype. <laughs> yes. It's just cute with all the flowers and the beautiful butterflies there's some stitching on here the stitching is okay i really like the fact that i put the sort of medium on here so it just feels nicer and then the other one this is with a three quarter inch frame and this is with a one inch frame i like them both so yeah i like them both so yeah this one with the butterflies again or so all sorts of pretty lovelies and then this one absolutely love it they great i especially love sort of the brown stitching on here yeah cool and this one i didn't stitch on my my sewing machine is is done for today uh, well that means i am done with the sewing machine for today but you, it doesn't doesn't need stitching guys because it just looks lovely isn't it great yeah you're probably gonna ask me what you're gonna do with them well it's a frame. It's supposed to frame something. Let me, I'm just taking out a page. Let's say this is a page in your journal or, you know, you want to make it a page in a journal. Have this as a frame, like so. Ta-da! Of anything, just even text. Even text looks nice. And then put a washi sticker in it or, or what have you. Um, also very nice on uh, journal covers, yeah? I think so. You can put some acetate in here and have it as a sort of big pocket. Do whatever, guys. Do whatever. Guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I think these are very, very lovely. I am going to compare them to the real ones that I've ordered. Hopefully, they, they'll come in soon. Um, and it's just another project that you can make a gazillion of in all sorts of sizes. All sorts of sizes. So... I'll be back again tomorrow, guys, with another 100-day project video. And I hope to see you then. Bye.